Alrighty, how are you? Just a um, another quick one on the mid. Um, now, if you've got absolutely sag door cards like this, which is common as hell from um, water seeping in and ruin the masonite. Um, yeah, the other side's tactics as well. Um, but yeah, there's kind of no real way to replace this without taking the um, carpet off and kind of replacing the actual masonite itself. But it'll just happen again eventually, and I don't know, the carpet gets dirty, easy as fuck. So. This is my solution here. Um, this company makes door cards. I'll link it all in below. I forgot what they're called, but this is like a hard plastic. And these grooves, if I can focus, is like a, they're like kind of routed in just to give it a bit of texture. Um, they come fully ready. Um, door handle, speaker, um, the uh, pocket or whatever you call it. Like everything's done. Um, they have them for, um, Oh, what do you call it? Electric windows as well. Um, and they've got um, in black and heaps of different colours, heaps of different cars, everything. So I thought this would be mint. I can just hose it down, no stress. Um, but I'll pull it out properly and show you properly. I just want to show the packaging they've done on this because it's absolutely elite. Just like a, a picture frame um, around all the edges, squared off so it can't fold, can't bend. That is absolutely sick. Good on them. All right, here we go. They left a little card in here, so I don't have to look up who they were again. Australian door cards, rugged um, range. So yeah, pretty straightforward. Good bit of gear. Now they're quite flexy and, you know, durable. Um, they're light as hell, so should be pretty sick. But look at them, they look smicko. Now I shouldn't have to explain how to take a door card off because pretty straightforward just screws and shit off like through the um handle and stuff but i'll just do a quick once over obviously take your speaker off pop this off undo that screw and then unhook it or i think you can angle it and take it out screws under here that stays on until it comes off after um and then you start popping out between all under them um also this strip i don't know if i'm gonna keep that I might take that off and then paint under here black, the suit, kind of everything else. Alrighty, got all that off. Um, I've changed my mind with this because I've sat that up against it and it looks pretty snug. So I'm um, keeping that top bit, that look clean going through. Um, it looks like it fits pretty smicko, so that's just about it. Slap her on, see how she goes. Alright, look how elite that looks already. Um, I'm just showing you the clips they give you. Um, they just obviously push in and then you give them another push that kind of secures them. Um, so they're all around, all popped in. Um, but look at that. I'll slap the rest of the shit on and um, give you a show, but I'm happy. So a problem I've come across is, because this is a fair bit thinner than the, um, than the old one, you can see it, they don't really clamp it back. Um, this isn't too bad because I took it off and I um, grinded the back of it like out so that it was clamping it more. Um, but this I don't really know what I'm going to do and same with the um, uh, window. But yeah, I don't know. I'll have to come up with something but you can kind of see the little gap there. Kind of all the way around, so I'm not vibing that. But apart from that, it looks pretty cool. Um, stuff around with the speakers, trying to make them work. Um, as in, like, actually make sound. <laughs> um, the the wires aren't getting any power, so I don't really know what's going on. Um, but yeah, they look good, don't they? Alrighty, so what I've done is with this is kind of the same what I did with this. So I grounded the back out, um, but obviously that's like taking up the countersink of the screw. So I've had to throw in 
uh, washer there uh, to hold the screw because the hole uh, became bigger as I was grinding the back out. Um, so I ground the back out and that kind of sits pretty good the whole way around now. So happy with that, happy with this. Um, that's kind of on there all right. I don't know what these two holes are for. Um, no clue. Um, now for this, I just shoved a bit of foam, uh, try to show you, a bit of that. I just um, kind of ran that around the whole, like of that black cap, um, just so it's kind of like spongy and kind of always filled in. Um, so that's kind of filling the gap, so I'm happy with that. The speaker works fine, because that just clamps it all back straight away. Um, and that's obviously through from the other side, but yeah, look at that. Looks pretty nifto, doesn't it? Just on this other side now, I'll show you what I mean. Uh, you can obviously see those three kind of spikes. They all go, and then the uh, majority of this all goes as well. I'll do that real quick. And that's kind of the end result. See, it's all just kind of smooth and the hole is bigger, so that's why the uh, wash is there. But yeah, pretty straightforward. And then onto this, you can kind of see if I hold it like that, the plastic kind of like bulges out a little bit. Um, same on there. So, yeah, I'm just grinding the plastic down just so it's not like protruding past the, um, like the edge. And kind of like that. Just a quick rub, just to get it not kind of protruding past and bang side number two pretty straightforward pretty easy honestly you don't even know i'm videoing this pretty basic shit side number two car's a mess at the moment